What's up guys, in today's video I'm going to show you guys what I got in this nice little Ross haul. Now I'll have a link down below of a video explaining how you guys can get a bunch of figures on a budget as well as getting figures at Ross, TJ Maxx, Burlington and just to grow your collection with not even spending all too much. So now enough of that, let's go ahead and look exactly what I got in this Ross haul. Now this figure I've been looking for quite a while but it was kind of hard to get at Ross. I've never seen any of these figures in the retail stores. So let's go ahead and go straight to the Ross Hall. Now this figure I've been looking for for quite some time. And here we have the Uncanny X-Men. This is actually a really decent figure. It has that nice classic like look or you know just old school look. Now this figure comes with three accessories, two interchangeable hands, and also has a little blast effect which I think it's a phoenix. But overall it's not bad. The paint could be a little bit better on the face because it does look kind of weird. But overall it's not bad and I got this at Ross for $5.99. Now this basically completes my uh, X-Men, Uncanny X-Men wave. I am missing one figure, which I did see that Ross, but it wasn't something that I wanted to pick up. But yeah, this is not a bad figure for $5.99. Let's go ahead and grab the next figure that I got in my Ross pickup. Here we got a figure that I've definitely been looking for besides the Dark Phoenix. This right here is the Wolverine. You guys already know finding Wolverine is really hard, especially with Deadpool 3 coming out. Everybody's buying all the Wolverine figures. Here is the Uncanny X-Men. He does come with a, an additional head sculpt. Comes with two fists. And yeah, it's really not that bad. Now, I'm not sure if I'm going to do an unboxing of these figures later on in the channel. I kind of want to keep them in box, but keeping figures in box does waste a lot of space. You guys can see on the back for this wave comes with six different figures. And for $5.99, you really cannot beat this. Now, I'm not sure if this figure was originally exclusive to like a specific store like Target or Walmart. I honestly haven't seen any of these figures in any of the retail stores, but glad I was able to get this for $5.99 at my local Ross. Let me go ahead and grab the next figure that I got in this pickup. So next we have a Star Wars figure. We have a Star Wars The Mandalorian 3 quarter inch vintage collection figure. Now this one is actually pretty cool because it's a Stormtrooper or the Artillery Trooper. This is actually really good in my opinion. Now they did have a 6 inch Black Series version that came out on Amazon which was an Amazon exclusive. Now I'm not sure if they had that in the Hasbro website. Now I do have one of these that I did pay for retail from Hasbro themselves. Now, I haven't seen this figure at all in any retail stores, but finding it at Ross for $3.99 is not too bad, but they only had one. Now, this is a nice figure to army build, but overall, it's not too bad, and this is VC263, by the way. Let's go ahead and get the next pickup. So next, we have another Star Wars figure, and this is a Black Series Return of the Jedi Leia. Now, this one is number nine in the wave, and this is the Ewok Village version of Leia. Now, this figure doesn't really come with too much as far as accessories. It comes with one blaster and a spear, and then the overall design of the figure isn't too bad. The head sculpt is fairly decent. The overall figure is okay. Now, I wouldn't pay the normal retail, which I think it was maybe around $20, but I got this figure for $5.99 at Ross. You really cannot beat this. I don't have this figure, so it's definitely a must pick up for me. And let's go ahead and get to the last pickup that I got here at Ross. So this is something really different that I really haven't done too much reviews or unboxings here in the channel. But here we have a Harmon Collection Dinosaur. I'm not even going to attempt to say his name because, you know, dinosaur names are really weird. Now, these figures are mostly, you know, uh, for collectors or mostly for people who just want to collect dinosaurs, adult collectors mostly. The Harmon Collection is what this thing is called, and this is from the Lost World Jurassic Park. Now, the only difference with these figures from the normal toys is that these have, like, a good range of articulation, detail, and it has a, you know, good amount of painting as well. Now, I got this figure for $5.99, and it does say that the suggested retail is $20. I don't really think this was $20. I'm pretty sure it was probably more. I do have the Triceratops and the Harmon Collection as well as the T-Rex. Maybe if I find one more for fairly cheap, I'll probably do a better review video or collection video with that. Now, I'm not sure if people do army build some of these dinosaurs, but for $5.99 at Ross, you really cannot be. So let me know down in the comment section below, what is your favorite figure that I have in this Ross haul that I have for you guys? Now, it's mid-February, so you might be able to find some of these figures in your local Ross store. I also have a link down below of a video that I made explaining how you guys can grow your collection in 2024 in a budget. And I see you guys in the next video.
video 